Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Ballad of Gay Tony. Now, I noticed a lot of you guys in the comments section were saying that you're sad the series is over, but the series isn't over. Uh, we still have a few more things to do. Oh wait, we got a call from Maury here? Let's look at this. Hey Maury. Luis, man, how goes it, huh? It's okay, bro. Look, I just wanted to apologize to you. I was an asshole. I've been out tilling the land and it really put shit in perspective for me, you know? Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, kibbutz. On a motherfucking kibbutz, eh? Yeah, but I've taken this shit over. I brought some real modern world shit into this joint. It's a much better use of my time. These people were fucking backwards. Sharing and shit? Come on, I mean, what, communism? Yeah, but, but it's a commune. Was. Now it's more of a, um, how do I say this? Dictatorship, you know? <laughs> hey, hey, Ike! Hey, do some fucking work, huh? I don't care if you're 78. You wanna eat? Work! Oh, uh, sorry, Lou. Yeah, now, where were we? Yeah, we were saying goodbye, Maury. So you see, um, uh, Maury, uh, apologized to Luis, but he's still really nasty to others. But what I was saying is, there's a few more things to do, and, um, uh, and, uh, we're gonna do some of the random stranger missions, and also the club missions. But also, in this one, I wanted to make a separate video on Luis's ex-girlfriend. Um, Luis's ex-girlfriend is probably the craziest, um, uh, girlfriend that's in a GTA game. Uh, well, she's an ex-girlfriend, but, um, still. So, these three emails, you see right here, I saved these emails for the end of the playthrough, because I wanted to talk about this. So, hello, stranger, I haven't heard from you. Did you lose my number? Maybe my phone was unplugged or something. It's been weird. Listen, give me a call sometime. It would be great to hang out again. Whatever, Margs. That is, um, uh, Luis's ex-girlfriend. So, you see, she spammed him. Sorry, Mar get I've been kind of busy. Uh, or Margot, I think you read it. Uh, you take care, Luis. Hey, Luis, what's up? Or as you might say, yo, what's up? Still haven't heard much from you. I left a couple messages. Maybe you didn't get them. Anyway, me and some friends are meeting up later at the club. Maybe see you there. Be good to hang out. This guy's there who wants to date me and stuff, but he's kind of annoying. Not like you, apart from when you don't call back, which is a bit rude. Seriously, I'm busy too. I've got, I've got a life, a good one. I'm hot anyway. See you later, maybe. Okay, well, um, uh, so you see, she's trying to get him je uh, jealous. Look after yourself, Margo Luis. Hello, stranger. Well, I'm sorry. I guess you never got the present I sent, because if you did and you hadn't thanked me, that's just rude. I mean, seriously, listen. I, I don't know what is wrong with you or whatever, but come on. I mean, listen. I'm not a stalker or anything, but I thought we kind of had a connection. And in this crazy city, that means something. Do you want to die alone, Luis? Because I think you will. Seriously, you can't treat people like this. I mean, who do you think you are? Or, and you're an a-hole, and you're not that well in doubt. I faked it. Why are you doing this to me? Seriously, why? Marks, I think you need to chill out. Please, can, can we call this quits? So that's, um, uh, I, I tried to reply positively to her, even though you can reply negatively. But, you know, she says that she's not a stalker. And what do, what do most stalkers say? That they're not stalkers. So, um, uh, she's a stalker. Um, uh, so let's get into a taxi here. Now, the story with Margot, what, um, what basically happened is Margot was Luis's girlfriend in 2007. This game takes place in 2008, so one year ago they were dating. Um, and what ended up happening was Margot wanted to marry Luis, but Luis didn't want to marry her. And then after that, she went crazy. And I guess Luis kind of wanted to stay friends, but she just would constantly keep bothering him. This is and it. we're gonna, um, we're, Thank you we're gonna meet Margot right Believe now. That. She has two missions, and she's a bit crazy. So, um, uh, here we go. A little creepy here. Where is he? Oh, hi, Luis. Wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> hey, Margo, how are you? What are you doing here? I was just, just meeting someone. A date, actually. A Hercules? It, it's a gay club. You never answered my calls. Yeah, I'm sorry. Or my emails. Yeah, I meant to, I'm just... Fucking rude. Yeah, <sighs> look, I got a lot going on. Did you get the book I sent you? No. The flowers? No, li listen, Margo, you you're a nice girl, and, and it was nice hooking up with you, but it, <laughs> it was over a year ago. What's time got to do with anything? It's, it was a long time ago. I mean, it's time to move on. You're pathetic. You know that? You think you're such hot shit, don't you? <laughs> no, I'm more like cold shit. But, but seriously, I just don't want to marry you. And no matter how many letters you send me, or chocolate bunnies, or skywriting my name, or naming stars after me, or whatever, it's nothing personal. <laughs> no, rejection never is personal. You know, my dad was right about you. Your dad? 
Look, he probably was, okay? But if you'll excuse me, I, I gotta go. You, Look at you this can't now. Go. But but I can go. You can't. I'm going to die. I just took 37 painkillers and 15 sleeping pills. There, there's the bottle. Luis shouldn't have I'm touched that. To he got his and fingerprints on the fall. bottle. Oh yeah, but tú sí que eres loca. I'll be dead soon. Either get me to the hospital or I'm dead. Fucking idiot. So that's that's her first mission. So you see, um, uh, she's now crazy. To a hospital, man. There's one in Easton. Shit, Luis, why do I love you so bad? Get Margot to the emergency room before she dies. I think I can feel my heart breaking, baby. No dumbass. That's just your liver failing. <laughs> I mean, how Kiss stupid me, is she? Um, the only thing going near that mouth is a tube for the stomach pump. I'm slipping away. Hold me. You can Luis. see why Luis kind of broke up with her now. It would be really convenient if you died on me. I was real stupid, wasn't I? Now you're starting to understand. Thank you. And imagine what would have happened if Luis hadn't been there. Get in there. Um, you're the doctor's problem now. Aren't you coming in? You could hold back my hair when they pump me. I see enough bulimic bitches at the club, Margot. You're on your own. I love you. So that right there, that was Margot's first mission. Now Margot actually has a second mission. So now here, a few days later have passed and, um, and Margot is here. You know, in reality though, she would be at the hospital still and the police would be questioning her. She wouldn't get out this quickly, but... Hey, Luis! Oh, Jesus, Margo! Fancy seeing you here. Don't tell me you were just passing through. Yes. When you suddenly decided the view was better from there? I knew you'd come. How? I'm sorry, Luis. Hey, don't apologize. I love keeping people from killing themselves. It's a weird fetish of mine. No. I mean, I'm sorry we can't be together. You can't have me. I don't want you. Now, come on, get down from there. Must be easy for you. Thinking of me as being crazy, it must help. Yeah, it does, actually. Either that or I think I was. You're not crazy, Luis. You're empty. You don't care about anyone. You're a shell. You fuck people and then you ignore them. That's easy. It's a game, isn't it? No, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, wait, just... I just don't want to marry you, okay? Maybe I am empty, like you said. Or maybe, like pretty much every man alive, I don't want to marry someone who's a complete psychopath. <laughs> okay, I don't care which it is. Just get over here, please. When I die, people will blame you. Yeah, either that or thank me. What? Nothing, nothing. Come on. Come on, get over here. If you love me, you'd save me. I don't love you. I've got a letter telling everyone that you pushed me. How stupid is she? Come on, get over here. Save me. God. How stupid is she? Um, a letter in her hands that he pushed her. Now this part, the bystanders think you pushed Margot, run away from the area and lose them. Now this part is really annoying. You know, so, some people just get right in the water, but I, I like to get into a car to try to get away. So little, all the NPCs are just chasing you right now. They think that you pushed her. Whoa, 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 it's a lot of NPCs. Okay. And this is what's so ridiculous about this is that, you know, these people are so stupid because these people were watching from a distance. They saw her on the rail and they didn't do anything to help. They made no attempt to help. And because Margot uh, fell, or I should say jumped at that point, um, these idiots think that Luis pushed her. Okay, cab. I never had a passenger get no. rage before. No, 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 ah! don't. Great. She was a sweet, innocent girl. Oh my god, look at this. It's like... Oh my god, how am I going to get Kill away from this right now? Rip him apart. Okay, jump over the rail. It'll probably do it. What does she do to you? 
She stalked me. Oh. oh my god, and I'm about to run out of stamina in this the, the NPCs. Oh. Oh great. Yeah, so this is this is the challenging part about the mission. Try to get away from the NPCs without um uh without taking a boat. And um okay. This this time I'm driving a taxi. I like how the NPCs are just waiting for me to hijack. Okay. Okay, I think we got away, finally. Oh my god. Oh, and there's somebody in the back of the taxi? Okay. Well, I guess you didn't have to pay for your cab ride. Get the hell off me. Okay, so that's it for Margo's, um, uh, for Margo's missions. And that's, um, uh, you know, that is actually, you know, um, typical, you know, um, uh, with the reaction of people, you know, it's, what's, what's kind of crazy about that is that I, I, I hate those NPCs so much and those, those, that crowd so much. And the reason is because, like I said, those people were watching from a distance. They saw um, uh, Margo and Luis from a distance, but they didn't see it up close. And because they didn't see it up close, they think that Luis pushed her. And so, where were those people during that entire time? Nobody came over to help, nobody came over to ask what's going on, nobody called the police, nobody did anything. But then the second that Margo jumps, everybody thinks that Luis pushed her. And that's what's really frustrating. And in, in America, there's a lot of places with good Samaritan laws, where if there's something bad happening, and um, somebody doesn't attempt to help, and it doesn't mean that they have to attempt physically, but if they don't even att attempt to call the police or do anything, and then something bad happens, those people could actually be arrested for that. Um, and that's actually why a Good Samaritan laws exist, because of crowds like that that do absolutely nothing. And then they try to, you know, act all, you know, um, a justice on Luis, blaming him for it when they didn't do anything themselves to help in the situation. But um, that's pretty much it. So that's it for Stalker Margo. She's a pretty creepy character, so, you know, you had Eddie Lowe in... Um, uh, Eddie Lowe, um, you know, a serial killer, psychopath in, um, uh, in, uh, GTA 4. And then this one, you had Margot, who is you know, Luis's stalker, um, psycho ex-girlfriend. So you can see why Luis broke up with her. But that's pretty much it here, guys, for that. I wanted to do a separate part on her, because she's a very unique stranger of her emails and everything. On the next part, I'll do the rest of the random strangers. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.